Hi, it's Preston DeGuys here from the Networker blog, and today what I want to do is take you through doing a file level recovery from a VMware image level backup that was done using Networker's NVP or vProxy system introduced in Networker 9.1. So in this case, what we're going to do is do a file level recovery from an image level backup of a Linux virtual machine. I'm on the console of the Linux virtual machine here, and if I do a directory listing, you can see I've got two subdirectories, bin and RFCs. I'm going to be recovering the RFCs directory, and if we have a look at that, there are 7,900 files or thereabouts in that directory. So we go into the Networker Administration console, and the recovery panel is already open and we choose to do a new recovery. Now there's two different recoveries that we can perform within the uh, NMC console. We can do a traditional client recovery which covers most recoveries or a virtual machine recovery. In this case we're obviously doing a virtual machine recovery and I've only got one vCenter server so I don't need to change what vCenter server is selected there. We can specify our virtual machine through a variety of mechanisms. I'm just going to type in the virtual machine name here. Actually, in fact, because I've been previously doing a few recoveries, we've got a list of uh, systems that I've previously recovered from. I'll just choose Krell, which is the system that I want to recover. Now, here we get to choose which backup we want to recover from. This has been backing up for some time, so there's plenty of different backups there that I can choose. I want to recover that from the most recent backup, though, so I'll click Next to continue. And we get to choose what recovery method we want to do here. So there's a few different ones that we can use. And instant access is obviously where we actually boot the virtual machine from the data domain via a read-write snapshot. A revert of the virtual machine is where we use change block tracking to actually recover the virtual machine really fast because there we only need to recover the blocks that have been changed since the last backup. In this case, what we want to do is a file level recovery. So I get to choose where I want to recover the virtual machine from. I've been backing up to one DD, uh, DD virtual edition and recovering and cloning to another data domain virtual edition. In this case, I'm just going to choose the original. And now I get to choose where I want to recover to. In this case, I'm going to recover back to the original server. Now what I have to do is provide the mount credentials to actually access the target server that I want to recover the files into. And once I've provided that, I can click Start Mount to actually start the mounting process. Now this mounting process can take a few minutes, um, usually less than a minute, but sometimes it can take a little bit longer. What this is doing is actually mounting the virtual machine disk files from the, pre from the selected backup up into the proxy so that we can then process that as if it's a, think of it almost as a live disk, I guess. Um, once that's mounted, we then connect into the virtual machine that we want to recover to and make sure that those credentials work so that we can actually push the files back across there. So we're mounting the VMDK images now. And as soon as that's done, we'll get to actually proceed with the recovery process. Now that's mounted, we see there that it's successfully mounted and that there was no error. So let's click next to continue. Now here what we're doing is actually browsing the um, volume from the previous backup as if it's effectively a view of the file system. So we've done a image level backup, but we're now browsing it as if it's a file level backup. So in this case, I want to recover from the root file system. And we expand that out. And we see there all the different directories that were on the system as of the time of the backup. Now I want to recover from the root user directory, so I'll expand that out as well. And we'll see here that there's um, a few different directories that I can recover from. So I'll click the RFCs directory. Now the processing there may take a, a minute or so, depending on the number of files. In this case, there's almost 8,000 files, so there's a little bit of processing for it to do to effectively read through all the directory resources associated with that. Now that's complete, so we're ready to actually continue. Now I get to choose where I want to recover it to. So what I'll do is I'll recover it into the root directory, but with a new folder name. So I've given it a name of recovery demo and I'll choose to recover into that location. So here I get to choose what the recovery name is. This is effectively saving the recovery resource to review later on if we need to. So we'll call this FLR demo and we'll choose to start the recovery now. Confirm that we do want to start the recovery. 
and here we go. So the recovery process won't take very long to complete. There's about 8,000 files. Um, what we need to do is now process through that recovery and copy the files across to the virtual machine. So we'll just let that run for a minute or so. Now, if you've used the previous VBA technology, you know that that recovery of that many files may take some time to complete. The new vProxy system is significantly more efficient when it comes to doing file level recovery. So as you can see there, it's 60% of the way through, 248 megs through the recovery, and we'll complete the recovery shortly. The recovery is almost finished. We're actually, it just has finished now, and we've received basically the log of the copy of all the data. So we can click finish on that now, and our recovery is finished. But let's confirm that it really has finished. So let's go across into Krell again. We do a directory listing. There's now a recovery demo directory. If we change directory into there, there's an RFCs directory under there. And if we do a directory there, we can see a whole bunch of files. If we do a directory of the original directory, we can see a similar directory listing. So there you have it. That recovery took about a minute to retrieve 8,000 files. So there, that's the uh, new network of vProxy system.